fishing tip Tuesday videos. Um, in this video, our very first, I'm going to show you what this backpack can actually hold. It's pretty interesting to see what can really fit inside of a tackle backpack. Now there's a lot of other pockets here on the sides and there's a couple bigger pockets up here too, up in the top. Um, if you really want to get a good look at this, definitely check out our unboxing video. It, this backpack is amazing. I've been using it every day since. I love this thing. But this is the tackle portion right here. This is it right here. So to be able to see what actually fits in here is going to be pretty good. So I'm just going to put this on the floor for a second. And I'm going to open this up. Now like I said, I have been using this backpack so my boxes are labeled. Um, but I just want to show really the amount of room, what, what, what we're actually working with here. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a bobber. So, this is, this is what the inside of the tackle pouch looks like. Now this is what the inside of the tackle pouch looks like. This top area right here boasts that it can hold a six pack and keep it pretty cool. This back wall I believe is insulated and so on at the sides. So this thing is actually a decent area to keep camera gear too if you just have a couple go-to boxes and like a terminal tackle box right here. This is, this is definitely a good spot to keep camera gear. And not to mention you can open this from the back. So that opens up <clears throat> and you can reach right into your upper pouch. I'm not going to open it all the way up because there's a lot of stuff in that upper pouch right now. Camera gear and just a lot of stuff. So now to really show you guys what the boxes look like when you first get them. Now this is the box. This is everything that that comes in it. This is exactly how it comes. All these little spacers and everything like that. And I got really discouraged until I realized that they all pull out. You can pull every single one of these out. And once you do that, one fell on the floor. It's all right. <clears throat> this one's solid. And then you just pull out all these little tabs, all these little spacers. There we go. Uh, this one's also solid. And then you're left with this. A couple nice size compartments. Pretty decent. But the cool thing is this fin comes right out. So now all of a sudden, I mean, you still have two small compartments. You have one larger one. But then you have this big square one. And there's a lot of different weird size baits that you might have like chatter baits or spinners and stuff and they can actually fit in this space i fit a lot of live targets in this space and uh we'll get to that in a minute so now that i've shown how much space is in these small boxes let's really see how much actually fits so i'm going to put this off to the side for now put that right down there for a second so my fins here for a moment and there goes this one. Like I said, my boxes are labeled, so when I put everything back, I know where it's all going. Now this box, as you can tell, already has some sankos in it. It already has some. And I just didn't take them out because it's just too time consuming to put them back in the bag and take them out of the bag. And some of them are, they have a prototype bass juice that we're working on. So it's just better that they stay in here for now. Um, so now I got these three cases there. I'll stack these up over here. Now we'll pull up the tackle box. 
let's really get a good look at what's actually in this tackle box. Now most people would probably call this a pretty full tackle. Um, pretty full tackle box. Give you guys a better view on it as well. Alright, so this is my tackle box. Pretty full. Got all my jigs, I got all my paddle tails, chatterbait, spinners, cranks, frogs, top water, poppers, live targets, all of it. I got worms in the bottom. And this, this tackle box is actually pretty heavy. And this is my daily carry tackle box. So now that you've had a bird's eye view of what the tackle box, what my tackle box looks like, now I'm going to start putting all of my go-to stuff, all the stuff that I use on a regular basis. This is my bag of Senkos that I carry around. This thing is seriously probably like at least two pounds, three pounds maybe. It's pretty heavy. So I'm going to pull out my two thirty packs, go-to Senkos. Take this one. That down now. Take this one, put that right in there, like so. This is the perfect spot to fit a 30 pack of Senkos, especially if there's a couple of them that have been used already and um, it's not an entire 30 pack. So we'll say probably like 20 Senkos, it fits very, very comfortably. 30 will fit though, 30 will fit. And We'll get the air out of that one. We're just going to stuff that right in there. Close this bad boy up. Alright, so that's my Senko box. All my go-to Senkos. That's everything. So we'll slide that in there first. Now, the next one is all my live targets. Two boxes down. Now, I know what you guys are saying right now. Gills, that's not the whole tackle box. I know. What I recommend, if, and I should have guess, I guess I should have said this in the beginning, get yourself an extra box for terminal tackle. And the reason that I say this is because it will actually save you a lot more room. Get yourself an extra box for terminal tackle, okay? This little thing right here will save you basically the whole top space, okay? My, my, my whole top space could be taken up by all of this, all right? And it can be. That's the thing. And I'm going to show you guys that. But if you get yourself an extra box for terminal tackle, now you have another box that you're not using out of those three. So I can put all my go-to Senkos. And now I can carry around these two smaller bags of worms and my terminal tackle and still have a little bit of room left. That's the greatest part. That, that's the best part right there. So I'm going to put all the terminal tackle away and then I'll show you guys how these bags can fit in this pouch. So we'll put the whole rest of the tackle box away here in a second, all right? So let's, let's get back down there. Terminal tackle. Boom. 
done in a box right there okay now I just want to show off how much this thing can hold I like to keep my hand sanitizer in another pocket just so I don't put too too much stress on top of this we're going to set this off to the side though hand sanitizer too and let's get the rest of these worms out Just for verification, use my GoPro. Boom, hit record. Here we go. Boom. Nothing left but dirt and dust. Nothing. This thing is clean, folks. Now that you guys know that the tackle box is completely clean, close it up. to the side. Oh, this thing's pretty light. Okay, so fuzz. What the fuzz? Move all this over. Hand sanitizer. Absinthe from the body shop. This stuff is awesome. Alright, so button up my bag of worms. Now, I use that tackle box mostly for extra gear um, when, I, when I don't have my entire lure selection on me. And if any of you are wondering, if anyone's wondering why I don't carry just a few lures at a time, like why do I carry all this weight? It's because fishing is situational. You're not always going to have the exact lure or the exact color. So I like to be able to give myself the best option. I like to get to know all of my lures evenly. You know, it's, it's just, I learned a little bit easier that way, I guess. I can't really remember too, too much. So it helps just a little bit. It helps a little bit more when it's situational. And when you just learn how to fish situa situational, because then it's not just, okay, I know just how to fish a swim bait, or I know just how to fish a senko, or I know, you know, just how to fish a paddle tail. Learn how to use them all. Really learn how to use them all. So we're going to fit this in there. We're going to fit this in here. Sorry, I should have moved this over here. We'll do that again so everybody can see, since you're staring at me. Take this out. We'll take this out. Alright, so I'm gonna take my bag of Senkos, all my Senkos, every Senko I own, terminal tackle. I'm gonna fit my other bag of random worms, and this is all my homemade stuff. Actually, you know what? We're gonna switch this sideways like that. So it fits a little bit easier, a little bit better. Boom, there it is guys. That's my entire tackle box. The whole thing. This that whole tackle box is, is right here in this little tackle pouch. Can't forget the hand sanitizer. I know. Don't forget this, right? We'll leave that right up there. Because we're gonna put this bad boy away right now. Oh, that's the bobber pouch. Boom. Hand sanitizer pouch. Right there. Perfect spot for it with the head nets and all that stuff. Boom. So, all right, so what are the chances of that? My camera just died. Look at that. It's dead. Won't turn on. Um, this has been a really fun episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again for watching. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Share this thing. Boom.